Child, I'm trying to get this phone right, okay? But good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Tanetta here with your Car Chronicles. I hope that y'all are doing well. This will be a kind of quick, but I want to bring a question to y'all this morning. Um, a what would you do question? I guess I put it that way. Um, well, I guess I'll just go ahead with the question. I guess. <laughs> but what would you do if you, um, of course, were in your house, in your apartment, wherever you stay at, and you notice your neighbor, um, your neighbors, um, a p couple outside fighting or outside arguing about the fight? He may be ready to hit her or she ready to hit him, that kind of thing. I just want to know in that kind of situation, what would you all do? And the reason why I'm asking this question is because... Um, where I stay at, um, the other night, a couple was actually fighting and arguing and this kind of thing. Um, in the past, what I have tried to do, I guess I put it that way with people, I've tried to, of course, go to the house, kind of get in the middle, interject, try to stop the fighting and all this type of stuff going on and stop the arguments and this kind of thing. Um, and all the times that I have done that, actually, um, I have been looked at by the female as I was, um, well, she was, well, in one situation, actually a few situations, um, the female was being hit and that kind of thing and abused or whatever you want to call it, domestic violence. And me and other folks, a few other folks were trying to go step in and we were the ones being attacked by her, um, for stepping in, I guess I put it that way, even though she called us. Um, and like I said, I've, I've been in other situations like that as well. Um, I haven't been, I had like a gun or anything like that to my knowledge pointing at me for, no, I haven't. Um, but, um, like I said, I have, of course, called the police. I have, of course, um, yelled out the window, stop doing this, stop doing that, that kind of thing. I have done that in the past, but the other night I didn't even do anything. I put it that way. Like I said, I'm new here to Tucson and I know that being back in St. Louis, it's usually dangerous to do stuff like that. To Well, I I've done it though, but to, of course, step in when somebody's outside fighting or that kind of thing, especially when it's a couple. So, like I said, I definitely want to know what you all would do in this situation. I have not seen the young lady um, since then. I know I've I heard noises, so I'm sure she's home. But like I said, I'll definitely catch her when she um, when I see her when I'm leaving or coming or going or that kind of thing to check on her, make sure she's okay, that kind of thing. I know the fellow's not there anymore from what I can tell, but but like I said, definitely it was just a crazy situation going on. And we've only been here about a month and a half now, I think, almost a month and a half. And it was just all types of arguing and howling and yelling. And you heard folks outside and all this stuff going on. Like I said, I definitely want to know what would you do as well, I guess I put it that way. Would you go and try to, of course, step in the middle, I guess I put it that way, and pull folks apart or tell them what not to do or tell them to stop fighting, I guess putting yourself in danger? Like I said, I have done that several times. I'm not here, but... Of course, back at home, and it taught me a valuable lesson to never do that again, is what it taught me. So, like I said, definitely, I just want to know what you all have done and what you all would do in a situation like that. Like I said, I know um, I have, of course, called the police, stuff like that. Um, but like I said, the in the situations where I was called, and um, I have, of course, tried to, myself and other gentlemen, tried to step in to, of course, stop the guy from beating on this lady several times, that kind of thing. And like I said, we started getting attacked and told what was told to leave the house, F us and all this kind of stuff. And like I said, that was my last time stepping in on anybody trying to do anything, I put it that way. That was several, several years back. And like I said, like I said, that has taught me a valuable lesson that when people are, are in relationships, yes, while it's sad that um, I don't like to see anybody abused or anybody yelled at, beat up, anything, whether it's a male or female, because women do beat up men as well, because I have seen that. Um, but like I said, definitely just, just knowing that those are intimate relationships and that you getting involved sometimes can mean your life or death as well. And I have actually seen somebody, well, I wasn't there when they were killed, but I have seen that happen, well, heard of that happening, I guess I put it that way. And you all may have heard of that happening as well on the news or wherever you stay or that kind of thing as well. But, but like I said, definitely when I see this young lady, I will be, of course, asking her if she's okay. And then um, she, she don't really know who I am because like I said, we just moved in. So, um, all she knows, my name is Tanetta, my partner. Adrian, that's all she really knows is she sees us coming and going. I see her coming and going. We'll wave her, that kind of thing. That's really about it. So, like I said, I'll definitely, um, like I said, pull her to the side if I can, if she's open to me talking to her, just to let her know kind of who I am and if she needs any resources, that kind of thing. I'm here even if it's somebody to talk to and that kind of thing as well. She's young. She's probably her, I wouldn't even say mid-20s, but I don't know. Maybe mid-20s. I have no idea, but but like I said, definitely, that's, that's what I'm going to do in this situation. I know the young lady downstairs, my, um, I don't know. Well, I'm assuming she must have heard the stuff going on as well. I'm sure everybody did. I guess I put it that way. It was at midnight because I couldn't even get back to sleep. I was woken up at midnight and didn't get back to sleep until actually I didn't even go back to sleep. 
I, well, maybe I dozed off. I don't know, about 4 or 5 in the morning, but I had to get up at 5.30 anyway. But like I said, I'll definitely, um, like, like I said, check on her when I do see her just to see if she needs any resources or just somebody to talk to or that kind of thing. But like I said, have a job handle this situation. I know I see comments on here, too. Let me see. And thank you, Racist Rachel. Jaleesa, thank you all for tuning in. I hope y'all are doing well. And, oh, oh, you, oh, oh, that's right, Rachel. You are in Virginia. Virginia Beach, I think. And Jaleesa, I know you're in St. Louis, and you said you're, oh, cool, you're moving to Phoenix, but I'm in Tucson, so that's awesome. I and mean, we're actually going up to Phoenix on Saturday, actually, this, this Saturday. We went last two Saturdays ago, too, but we're actually going this Saturday to clean out the storage and move it down here to Tucson. So, so like I said, well, I guess I'll see you when you get to Phoenix then one of these times. So, so definitely, like I said, definitely enjoy, I guess. Um, I don't know if you've ever stayed anywhere else besides St. Louis, but like I said, definitely enjoy. It is a beautiful sight to see, I guess I can say that. And you said um, you wouldn't step in anymore if she wants to fight you for trying to help her. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I've had that situation happen many a times. I'm sure others have too. Um, and I'm sure that, that, that that's probably why a lot of folks don't step in anymore. I guess I put it that way. And, with my, and even including my parents as well. But with my mom never got mad at me for stepping in or to stop anything. But I know I was a kid and I should not have been anyway. Stepping in the middle of anybody fighting, I guess I put it that way. But as a kid, you don't know. You're trying to stop your parents and that kind of thing. Like I said, that's why I'm so passionate about abuse and um, helping folks to, of course, become who they are. Uh, the masters of their own life, I guess I put it that way, so, so that they can know that they're better than that, I guess I put it that way. So like I said, definitely just trying to make sure that people are okay. But like I said, there to me, there's a fine line with those kind of things because you can be hurt in the process. And I know I've heard of some being hurt, actually, killed, actually, in the process of trying to help somebody else and um, save somebody else and that kind of thing. The guy shot them or that's the situation I heard of, I guess I put it that way. Um, he, yes, the guy was abusive and that kind of thing, too, but... This person was trying to interject and was, of course, was killed because of it. But like I said, I'm sure there's other stories out there, too. But but like I said, I, I just want to know what y'all would do in this situation. And Jaleesa, yeah, I definitely will be checking on her. And I yes, I will definitely give her that Miss Tanetta charm. I definitely will be doing that. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. But like I said, I definitely want to have this this short conversation with y'all this morning just to check in, too. And I'll check in later on, actually, on my way um home um on my way from work to lunch actually i'll check in like a few minutes because the drive is like two three minutes from here so it ain't that far from where i live and work so but like i said i'll definitely definitely check in um just to let y'all know kind of how things are going what's going on on my end of the world i guess i put it that way what's new the latest happenings and all this type of stuff so so i definitely i like i said i have to get myself into work this morning so um i'll talk to y'all later so y'all have a great day um i'm thinking tomorrow morning i should be on the car chronicles as well so y'all just check back tomorrow morning again maybe about 8 8 a.m ish you will see me on car chronicles whenever i do do them i guess i put it that way um but like i said i'll see y'all later in another video so take care y'all and have a great one